We are again at the Cooler Master booth and uh, guys, I have received so many comments and questions about this insane simulator. So first of all, we're talking about the Dyne X Stage 3 Grand Prix package. And as you can see, yes, there is a huge price tag on it. However, it is an all-in-one system. You get a PC, you see the ingredients, you get included games, you get hardware on it, you get obviously the moving chassis and the entire rig for that price. So it is like a one thing, a one size fits it all. And here you can see obviously the equipment. But before we have a closer look into the equipment, guys, question for you. This is a motion rig. Is that something you would be particularly interested in getting? Or is it something like that where you say, nah, I don't want my stuff move around all the time when I'm racing? Either way, guys, put it down in the comments area below. And of course, if you appreciate this video, give it a like, hit the subscription button, ring the bell for more sim racing related content. So before checking out the equipment as such, we have obviously taken a run on this rig here, once on Road Atlanta, once at Sebring, especially Sebring in order to see how the bumps are being transferred into the moving system of, um, of that rig. And uh, it was a pretty interesting experience, straight away I could get going with, uh, with the car. Obviously the car was not big eSports slidey setup, it was good to drive, but what was like really insane when we were racing, we really felt subtle and strong movements from these actuators. However, they did not give you like a real huge punch or like a real violent shaking. Despite this looks pretty violent as moving around, the ride still felt sort of smooth. Something particularly interesting about the seat and the pillow is something I'd like to mention as the pillow is in place for whenever you tilt the seat more backwards, which we'll find out more about the possible uh, positions of that uh, seat during this video. Uh, this pillow is a perfect device to keep your head sort of straight looking towards the screen. It looks obviously extremely massive on that rig, but um, as you're sitting in there, as you are tilting backwards, almost lying in there, it makes sure at all times you can see the screen. So as you have now seen us fighting with the steering and the controls, let's head over the overall rig to give you a little bit more insight of this Cooler Master DIN X Stage 3 SIM. This is a triple screen setup, as you can see. On the wheel rim, we're talking about a Simu Cube wheel rim, a Simu Cube wheelbase, Huizing felt shifters and handbrake. It is a full motion rig with those actuators propelling the sim absolutely precisely. It feels powerful but still smooth whenever you go over a bump. Speaking about the actuators, I think I've been told that it can handle 250 kilograms each, so enough power, enough resistance to, to carry the entire rig, um, as you could probably put a full ton on weight on these actuators. But this is probably something interesting that you need to know about these feet, that these actuators. They are moving based on a live telemetry um, readout from the game. So it is very low latency mode. It is not having too much delay. And it gives you, I think, a real good sense of what's actually happening in the car. Especially with the, um, the Simu Cube active pedals, you will have a real immersive driving experience. Then of course, it contains the iconic Cooler Master self-developed sim solution that is the full rig that you can easily adjust 
we've taken off these two bolts and therefore adjust the overall angle of the entire rig. So it really determines how deep you're sitting down, how much you're laying in. You see this is almost an F1 type of seat that we're finding here. We speak about a seat, this is an interesting seat position. Like as you can see, it is pretty tilted backwards, but obviously, as we know from other rigs, you can adjust it in every direction you need it. The real deal though is, as we've spoken about it already, the interesting way of adjusting the angle of the overall chassis. So also, the way you're leaning backwards, the more upwards the pedals are going. But the real deal breaker for me on this sim are the SimuCube active pedals. Speaking about the pedals specifically, as you've seen on the Bryce Tech Shield already, we have Active Pedal Pros here, I think, uh, from the SimuCube. I've had a run in it now in iRacing, and I straight away understand and see, as this is the first time I'm racing them, why that is such a great addition, why that can be a real sporting advantage. First of all, a big massive thank you to Cooler Master for allowing us in the booth, for allowing uh, the big time in the simulator, testing it, showcasing it, filming the content. But now it is about you guys. You've watched the video, you've seen all the things that I had to take on that simulator. Is there something that's missing to you? What do you think about this rig? Is there any questions you have? And put them down in the comments area below. Looking forward to see you guys' thoughts. And of course, guys, if you appreciated the video, give it a like, subscribe us on the YouTube channel, ring the bell for more sim racing content. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. On to the next one. Bye bye.